I remember the first time I saw this next actress. One night when I wasn't working, my husband and I went to the theater, and there she was. I was so excited by what I saw. Her somehow intangible quality, her ability to give the impression she was making up her lines as she went along. I had seen nothing like it since Lorette Taylor. Well, I got so excited I went to see her three more times. The lovable comedian here with her talented co-star, Larry Blyden, in a scene from the second nominee for the best musical, The Apple Tree, is Barbara Harris. was a chimney sweep. She worked in a big office building downtown, but it wasn't what she really wanted to do. Oh, no! I'm only doing this for a living. As she often tried to tell people, Chimneys are cozy. Chimneys are warm. I think of chimneys as ports in a store. Hot, warm, and cozy or not, I would give up the lot if I could only be a movie star. A movie star. Or to be a movie star. A beautiful, glamorous, radiant, reveling movie Ella passed her days. Every night after work, she would go home to her lonely furnished room. She'd hang up her chimney brush and she'd sit all night in front of the TV. And she'd think to herself, No one imagines I harbor this hope. People who know me keep sending me soap. They see such stains and tar. They see how old they are if I could only be a From the time she arrived home till the time she fell asleep, her eyes never wandered from the screen. Then, one evening, it was the night of the full moon. Ella returned from a thankless day at the chimney, turned on the television set, and there was no picture. No picture? No picture? No picture? No picture? No picture. Stunned, disbelieving, she stood before the TV. Her eyes searched the screen for a trace of an image. <laughs> then Ella heard a voice. Hello out there. This is your friendly neighborhood godmother. The program usually scheduled for this hour will not be seen. Instead, I have the pleasure to bring you the answer to your most cherished dream. Plank! Plank! 